Let's add another energy to the problem by putting a spring at the bottom of the incline. The spring will be compressed a distance delta x, and you can see that's happening up here. Here's our initial position of the block. It compresses the spring, and here's where it is. And then what will happen once it's fully compressed? Well, it'll then spring back and shoot the box that way. So we want to find the velocity of the box when it rises back to where it was first compressed. That's this point here. We'll call that delta h. And you can hopefully you can already see the relationship there, and we'll, we'll draw it out anyway. This is going to be delta x. This is our delta h. And this angle will be theta. So what energies do we have to consider now? When compressed, the box has elastic potential energy, gravitational potential energy, and zero kinetic. When it loses touch with the spring at delta h above its fully compressed point, it will have kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, and zero elastic potential energy. So our conservation of TME equation simply becomes this one right here. Before we proceed further with the solution, think how hard this problem would be to solve without using the conservation of energy. Once the object is released and the spring starts moving away from its compressed state, the force is no longer constant. It will require mathematical integration, calculus, to solve. Free body diagrams are not the best way to find the velocity of the object at any point. Let's put in the equations and rearrange them to solve for velocity. So here is our initial condition right here. Here's our final. And then we just do some algebra on this step, this step, and we come up with the velocity at this point here, after it's been pushed down and then shot up by the spring, is the square root of k over m times delta x squared minus 2g delta h. Another way of doing this is just right in the beginning, say this height, we're going to say that h0 will be 0 and that the potential energy is zero at that point. We're a uh, gravitational potential energy. We're always free to set our reference frame for the gravitational potential energy, whatever is convenient for us. Then your delta h would just actually become h, the height above that point. But we'll keep working with delta h to solve this problem, and we have the equation right here. The problem is this one right here. We were not given delta h to solve the problem. So how do we find it? Recognize through geometry that this angle right here is the same as this angle that the incline makes. So therefore, delta h will just be delta x sine theta.